I got a Fishman amp and I got a cream pedal from this very store. And I got a parking ticket last time I was here. We got here pretty early, around nine. Loaded some stuff in, sound checked. It was not too stressful. You want to meet a real white buffalo? Dad, that's not a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Cameras, please! Instead of people, there's cameras. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's different than a live show. I kind of try to just go into a different world and not think about it, you know? I mean, for us, it's just being passionate and feeling the lyrics and feeling the song is the most important part, and being tight and dynamic. What do you think? Should we do it again? I'm in a rock and roll state. I tend to break strings a lot, even though I try not to. A lot of time, it's me sweating and then drying. That's why I'm always toweling and drying my strings. They're putting on some special diamond strings on the right here. Cars coming in. Thank you. know, they get wet and then they get brittle, and then I just yeah, yeah. play like a great ape. Thank you. I mean, I think it's really cool that Guitar Center's doing this, especially with a format that's a longer format. You don't have to just play one song or something on a late night show or something like that. And it's a good way to showcase really live, organic music. It's kind of a dying thing. Clear. Thanks, buddy. Hi, I'm the White Buffalo, and you're getting behind-the-scenes look at Guitar Center Sessions on Audience.